Oh yeah. Uh, Mike Ross, he, he was a player, then he was a commentator, and now he's who he is now. Oh, he's so valuable, right? I mean, I think Street Fighter owes Mike Ross something for liking Street Fighter, you know? He's such a valuable guy. And not just him, and not just, you know, people like him. It's just him. Individual, Ross, yeah, everyone. Everyone, e even low-tier jobbers and randoms, they're the ones that fill the brackets of these tournaments, you know? So everyone's very important. And they like their game, and they make that known, you know? Yeah. The Tekken community sometimes is a little bit too negative. So if you're negative about the game, what do you think people who are considering going, making the well, way to the game, you know? Okay, but I'm a man of the people. So I have to take their side here, Michael. Okay. It's hard to be positive. Right. You, we're only human. It's right. hard when you gotta wait this long. It's hard. I gotta be the man of the people. It's hard being positive. No, no. It's a struggle. Don't get me wrong, we understand. Like, have to wait because there's no arcade version. Right. Fine, I totally get that. But like, saying someone's broken when you haven't even had a chance to play them just from videos? Yeah, it's of... it's silly and it's childish, but what else can you expect <laughs> from the internet? The internet is just crazy. But some people, they have to know that you're not just random Joe anymore to some of these guys. I don't, right. I I don't want to mention names, yeah. but when you're streaming or when you're like a top player or something like that, mm -hmm. just like me in, in, in Harada, you know, when we started out, right. sometimes maybe you don't realize how much weight your words carry. You know, that's something that I had to learn over the years, and I think that the thing that's most most important, at least personally speaking, is that I'm genuine, you know, to me. I feel like being genuine is really important for someone in my position because the moment I start saying things that I don't mean, that's when everything's going to fall apart, you know. What do I even care about? What matters to me? So for me, I really try to stay true to what I care about, but I definitely over the years have started to look at things through other perspectives. like. For example, scenario campaign, as I mentioned right. earlier, is super important. But still, you know, I mean... But, you know, Eris, we've had this conversation, and I never want you to be a yes Of man. course, yeah. And that's what I appreciate about you guys so much. I've talked hella trash about all kinds of stuff that these guys have worked so hard on. Right. But they appreciate that I like other aspects enough to support them so much. So right. I think it's really... I really appreciate well, you guys very much. You're positive when it's warranted. Yeah, absolutely. I love the game. The game's... Dude, I went to Japan that last time in December, right? And I, I had no plans. It was like three days before, right? Yeah. So I wasn't even studying Tekken or planning on playing Tekken there much. And I got so addicted to Tekken 7 in the arcades. I was like... It was a new experience because before, I had to go to Sagamo. I had to make sure it was a time when everyone was there. Dude, I just... At my hometown arcade, plug it in and I'm going. And I picked up cigarettes too while I was there. So it was just like, sit down, <laughs> cigarettes, bing, bang, boom. I was just pumping the coins in and I loved every second of it. So, I mean, it the game's good, there. It's an awesome it's game. It's too bad that, uh, you know, more countries don't have our game. Yeah, it's it really is. It's a different experience, is. right? Dude, it's a, even, it's more different now than ever. It's this weird hybrid feeling where it's online, so you don't know what to think about it, but the benefit of it being online and the internet connection being so good, it really creates an addictive type of a scenario where you're just sitting there and you want to keep ranking up and you're getting matched up with like even matched players so well done that part of it is super good and you can continue and yeah dude oh man the special challenge or whatever it is <laughs> it's so cheesy I can't believe that oh man double <laughs> double the price oh uh, Michael one, yeah, yeah the, what's it called special revenge Oh, and you have to do it. Oh, you mean when your rank drops. Yeah, right? when your yeah. rank drops and it gives you the opportunity to pay double for a defense. Do you sneaky MFers? Ah, I had to do it every time. <laughs> you know, and I'm not a yes man either. When I, when I see the team do something that I don't like, I tell them. Well, you have to be, yeah, of course. That's what's great about you but, and Harada. But that's all I ask is, like you're saying, you know, you're making better, more informed decisions. Right. The thing I don't like about the internet is knee jerk. I see something, you know, uh, f you all because. You know um, what will really change your perspective on it is when you begin to like that about the internet. Start looking at it as I'm I'm on their side. Let's talk some trash. If you look at it from that perspective, you really begin to appreciate the emptiness of what is happening. These people, they're the guys that love your game. The ones that are talking the most trash about it are the ones that are immediately going to buy it. So it, it, I really think it would change your perspective on it if you 
actually look forward to the trash they talk. They, I'm telling you, I got a beard. I have some wisdom here. I'm a professional with the internet. Well, I can see some of it. But some of it is just like typical can response, you know. That not yeah, it's a copy paste. <laughs> I mean, even if you're gonna like talk trash, at least make it thought out trash, you know. You can't yell at a dog for barking. That's like, what they do. Yeah. That's what they do. You have to appreciate the dog. This and, is a creation. And, and I'm, I'm human, and Harada's human. Of course. And when you get some people who are just so oh yeah, it, it hurts. It hurts. Uh, you don't have to tell me, man. The worst things that could be said about a human have been said oh, about me on that. the internet. I mean, I got a thick skin now. I mean, I yeah. got all kinds of shit talked about. Yeah, in the past. you gotta be but, tough. Uh, Whatever. But I mean, just like you want to respond to it because oh, it's so yeah. idiotic. Yeah, but and you can. That's what they want. Yeah, of course they don't exist. That's the trick. And, and we're human, so... Mm -hmm, it's hard. Then after a while, you just say, all right, it pisses me off, so I'm not even going to look at it. Yeah. And then that's not good, because... No, you have to be able to look know? at it, but look through it, you know, and find what's important. Right? Yeah, it's it's not easy. It comes in time. No but joke. a lot of it is sewage, though. It's like... Oh, yeah. It's oh, yeah. Like the internet as a whole, you know? Of but, course. Uh, yeah, it's, it's tough, man. And, and I live in Japan, which... You have the new channel, which is just as bad as, you know, the baddest part of the American internet, but, um, but for the most part, people aren't as toxic as they are here, I think. Well, I mean, it's a whole different world. It's a different culture. You know, when I flew back from Japan, there was a three-year-old girl sitting on the seat next to me, and when I got on the plane, I thought, oh, this is a disaster. But that girl didn't make a single noise on a 12-hour flight. She was so well-behaved. If that was a regular white kid, we would have been, I would have not... I would have been a disaster. So the culture is totally different, you know, and, and I don't think that, don't worry about it. The internet, it's just nice to blanket the whole thing as don't take it too personal, I mean, you know? Well, actually, you know, I've spent half my life in the U.S. and half my life in Japan. And right. Right now, you know, I'm 40, 20 years each. And so I like both sides, but mm -hmm. the one thing I like more about Japan is just, I think Americans tend to think they're witty if they can say put something down, you know? Where, why, why does that make you witty or, or you know, interesting? Because...